There we go. And now we initiate the arduous setup process of Pokemon. Yes. Oh, I guess I can wait. Okay. No, that's fine. I do the do the join up on uh, on Parsec while I get the emulators set up and everything. All right. All right. Welcome to the stream. Do you have a? You said you had a story you wanted to tell, or do you want to wait on that? Uh, no, we can tell the story now. As long, are we putting it? Uh, is this going to be? Uh, is this going to be on? Uh, is it recording yet? Yeah. Okay. So, um, so my dad today, he's like, he's trying to fix a computer for a friend. He's got a new power supply, and he's trying to uh, to get it to uh, work. Uh, with uh, trying to get it to work with the computer yeah. uh, that, that that he's doing that he's uh, trying to fix up for his friend, but it just won't work. Like he like it works with the old power supply, but with the new power supply, it just kind of stops. Like the kind that goes into the back of the computer. Yeah. It, well, the power the difference between the power supplies is that one is like five hundred fifty. Uh. Uh, watts and the others a thousand. The new one's a thousand. So, the fuck's going on? Come on, controller. Give me a sec. Oh, there uh, it goes. It wasn't. Uh... It didn't count as plugged in until just then. My controller is flashing red. Okay. Does that mean it's low on batteries? No, it's plugged. What is going on? It's a PS4 controller, right? Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. I want to. Let me take a look at what's. At, at, I'm gonna look at my. Uh... Can you not do that? Oh, now it's fine. Now it's fine. So now I'm on Parsec. Okay. Clicked on Parsec. Yeah, now it's fine. It's not it's not flashing red anymore. Alright. Normally we would do what, this would off you... stream. Unfortunately we have to uh start the stream before running Parsec or Parsec will obs will obs will not work. They don't like to cooperate. Hello, factual Indeed. sky. So uh Except so where was I from the recording. So where was I? No, I'm telling a story. Oh, okay. So uh So he so he finally decided he's going to uh to Take unplug everything from the motherboard and plug things in slowly one at a time, and then he and to make sure it works because it wouldn't start up with it just as it was. And so regular motherboard started, got to the RAM, started, uh, got to the hard drive, uh, hard drive caught on fire. Oh, okay, just yeah. started exploded but, into flames. It, it just uh, well it wasn't as dramatic as that, but the connector where it connected. It just there's a fire that started and and my dad's like kid, he kid knocked on my door and he was like yeah the thing caught on fire and I'm like what it did yeah and he looked at us like he's like oh appar apparently these uh these power supplies that from this model tend tend to do that with hard drives I'm like that seems like a big uh, problem he's like I'm afraid to use it now okay. No, it's a normal thing. It's like the Ford Pinto. It's part of the design is to explode. <laughs> yeah, it's good. What, what was the problem with that? They put the gas tank on the front. That, something with the gas tank and that in that the way they the, where they put it. If they rammed it, then the thing would explode. Okay, so your controller <laughs> is plugged in and active, right? Yeah, it's active now. What? Oh, did I nudge? I. Woo! <laughs> there we go. Oh, are you okay? You still have a okay? You still have a screen control and everything. Hold on, don't start yet. I gotta make sure the uh, I gotta make sure the screens are set up because they don't like to cooperate. Okay. Uh, didn't you the category uh, when you were in a when you were in like a computer class? Didn't you have a story with like a computer that caught on fire? Uh, just the just the floppy drive. Yeah, I told my dad that like, yeah, that happened because the, there was a short, and 
because you took uh, you took computer tech in uh, vocational school. Yeah, and I was I was helping him out. I thought that the problem was in the motherboard. Turns out because anyway, um, so oh, by the way, the category is still five D chess. Shouldn't be. Oh, I wait. Did the game not update? I set it to. It updated the tags. Why did it not? Oh my god. If I nudge the controller hard at all. What the fuck? So your headset is dying and your controller is dying as well. No, it's just the cord. It's just the cord. The cord is like... Cord shit. This is also something that uh, we go through anytime we do uh, Pokemon on the DS. For some reason, the uh, it can't tell the difference between the two emulator windows, and so it's just a gamble of of setting it over and over again and hoping it gets the correct one. Indeed, there it goes. Now, now they're both Zelrog. So how how are you guys, Mango and uh, <laughs> Mango and Sky? All right, we're good. Let me give you mouse control again because this has touch screen yeah, I... functionality. Oh yeah, that's right. I f I forgot about that. All right, there we go. We're good. Are, are we finally ready to go? Ready to go. Ready to go. So. When you left off, you were approaching a, another gym. You just reached a new town. Yes. It's Canalave. There's a library here, and there's a steel type gym. Oh god, steel. Uh, should I haven't played Pokemon in a while. I have to remember my types. Oh. I'm using a uh, pro controller, which is still having issues because it. Uh, it has like it has flick back, and I've oh, had yeah? that with two new new pro controllers, the two that I bought. So I guess it's a common problem with them, and I just I couldn't be bothered to return it a second time. I need to get another uh, I need to get another PC controller that's just dedicated. Yeah, you get the you get the you do what I did and get a DS4. Uh oh. Hey, Jack, you going to challenge the gym leader? Someone should check to see if you're ready for the challenge. That someone is me. This is a drawbridge. We could break it. This is cool. a terrible place to battle. Come on, San... Staravia. Oh, okay. Oh, no. It's intimidating. What an intimidating person. This family, this, these birds and shinks, both have the intimidate ability, which is weird because they're not threatening looking at all until their final forms. Oh, shit. Hey, that's right, it's fighting type. I can't... Oh, my God. This fucking asshole. All right, I'm a... Oh, you gotta, you gotta steal fighting type. You shouldn't have any difficulty with... Uh, or a firefighting type. Your ace yeah, for, against, uh, steel. against the gym. I was going straight to the gym. That's why he set uh, Sun Wukong up front. Then this asshole came with his fucking bird. Hey, surprise! Yeah. I knew it. Spark. Oh, is that all you got? Cute. I was in the middle of Team Rocket stuff. I don't remember where I left off exactly. It's so the Team Rocket, Team Galactic, same shit. Galactic Team Rocket, Galactic Team Rocket, Black. Same rock, team, rock. different game. Yes. Ponita. Oh, I need a water type. Lord Slug. He's got five Pokemon, Jesus Christ. Come on, Thunderhoof. 
Gastrodon looks like a Maple Story enemy. It's just a big, slow thing with a little cute face and voice. <laughs> Perhaps the same could be said of all Pokémon. Hey, here, here, here I, I came up with a with a ROM hack for Pokemon just now. You want to hear it? Okay. What what is it? Is it Castlevania related? No, Pokemon with five with the uh, five dimensional temporal uh, alternate universe mechanics. So you could attack a Pokemon as it existed three turns ago. Yes, creating an alternate timeline where that Pokemon is fainted or whatever Pokemon was out three turns ago. It'd be like uh, it'd be like Future Sight, but the entire game. Yes. It'd be great. Hyper potion. Cool, I have one of these. I'm fucking using it. I recall the evil teams use the moniker Gramps, but that's not in order. Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider Sonya. Motherfucker. Oh my god. Wake up! Also, also, you forgot about Team Yell, so we're up to Grampsy. Fuck you! What a non-factor Team Yell were in the entirety of that game. Yeah, they were. They were just. They were just fans. They, they were just, just slightly fans. rambunctious sports fans. They were fun. Primplup. What, uh... Shoot, what, what type is Primplup? Water. I have to switch out, but if I switch out, somebody else is gonna be poisoned. Fuck. Oh, because right. Toxic Spikes. You can go right yeah. back to the Pokemon Center. Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aha! Uh -huh, intimidate! You're intimidated. He's not gonna die from that. Okay, he is. Alright, Penguin dead. McDonald's has new uh, spicy nuggets. And a sauce to go with them, and the, the sauce has some kick. I was surprised. And Heracross is insect, right? Uh, bug fighting. Oh, wait, fighting? Shit. So flying is gonna fuck it up. Yeah, because to Dipper can totally. Take yeah, all three plays plenty strong. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fight it. We've gotten out of tighter spots of this plenty of times before. Oh, I've got dark. I have a dark type move. Oh, that's not gonna work though. Because he's not dark type, even though he's like all black and really, really like mean looking, and learns a bunch of dark type moves. No, he's just pure electric. Aerial Ace, you, you fucking idiot. <laughs> We're not done yet! We've never given up! Spark. Apparently, it's named after a sword technique in Japanese as Aerial Ace. Like like oh, a famous yeah. samurai one. I don't remember which oh. samurai. Uh, that sounds like a Kenshin maneuver. Yeah. Just Kenshin does, does a bunch of fancy flips in the air and pretends it's realistic. <laughs> this is a down-to-earth historical drama series. Yeah. You're telling me I lost? Yeah, you lost. I I kicked your ass. Yeah, yeah, you're just a bit better than me as usual. But listen up. Let me tell you who's going to take on the Pokemon League and become the champion. Me, Sammy! Get, it's gonna be me. You should be able to take the gym leader here. Hurry up and go make the challenge. Evilness of most evil teams these days is left up to the corporate figure at the top, as opposed to the people you're actually fighting. Yeah, 
anti. I mean, that's mostly like Team Skull. Uh, the, the last two generations. And even then. I'll take you. Anti Corp. You know what? I'm glad that Pokemon has, uh, has uh, decided that corporations were evil. You know, the yeah. largest media franchise in the entirety of the world makes billions and trillions of dollars off of their mascot and, like, shitty sales practices. But, you yeah. know, yeah, corporations bad. I warned you! <laughs> I warned you! I warned you, our corporations were bad, but you didn't listen. People separate from the evil team. So yeah, it's been the last two generations, it's been them, like, related to the bad guys, but the bad guys were not actually the heads of the teams. Giovanni, the rich dude who was in charge of Team Rocket. And, you know, he had, like, a... Uh, the sort of reformation thing going on in Generation 1 and 2. But then later on they said, no, fuck it, he's he's pure evil, all, all bad guy. And they did some weird, like, villain League of Evil DLC shit in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. It was very bizarre. Was... I torment you. So what's Torment do again? Uh, he uses the same move twice? Yeah. Alright, Lock Punch. It's one of those useless in campaign mode moves. Annoying for you. Oh, now it's taunting me. Now I can't do anything but attack. Never stop playing Pokemon in the middle of an evil team base. You don't know what the fuck you were doing or where you've been. Alright, fine. Focus Blast. So they introduced two energy wave attacks in this gen. There's Aura Sphere, which Lucario has. Yeah, and Focus Blast, which is what everybody else has. It's the difference between a Kamehameha and just a regular old energy attack. Yeah. I never gave up, but I still failed to win. If you give up, well, that's when everything ends for you. Oh, n this is gonna be annoying. You like gym puzzles? It's not. It's not that bad. It's just. It's a. Th it's a three D maze, but it's a very simple one. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll figure. Uh, I should be able to figure this out. I understand five D chess. Oh, a worker. Oh no! I showed this it to. Is... Uh, I showed 5D chess to the members of the Ganondorf Discord, and they hadn't heard of it. They thought it looked cool. Good. I'm glad I was able to to uh, spread the. They're spread it. weirdly like they're all math nerds in Ganon Cord. Like it's a bunch of calculus college students. <laughs> math nerds and old men is Ganon Cord. Why is my focus blast missing? It's in inaccurate. I don't Shit. remember the. I think it's got like a 70 accuracy. 75. Come on. Oh no! Come on! You have to pay attention when Juggernaut is out. He just rolls over everything and it dies. Finally. You know, Onyx has the same attack stat as Bell Sprout. It's as strong as a flower. Onyx, not built. Onyx had a limited stat pool, and it went all into defense for Gen 1. It has fucking nothing else. Yeah, it's a giant wall. Which I guess incentivized the creation of Steelix, since On Onyx was so useless originally. Yeah, the, the steel, a new, hey, you get to become a steel type. What's the, Which uh, increases your defense further. Have fun. Yeah. It's become di it's become ultra defense to ultra defense and skittles.
Oh good, I had the key already. That's convenient. I found submission. Okay. Uh, well that doesn't mean anything. It could be a great move or it could be a terrible move for me. Submission. 85, it's still fighting type. 85 power, 70 accuracy, still causes recoil. No thanks. How's that, how's that cause recoil? I, I never really got that. I guess because they're like, uh, kicking back, I don't know. What is the, what is submission in Japanese? What's it actually supposed to represent? Yeah, because submission uh, in, 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 is like the thing where you grab somebody and then like, in like a hold and you tweak on their, which, you know, is very taxi. You can sprain an, you can sprain a muscle doing that shit. Another fucking onyx. It was the All most right. powerful fighting that's move it. in Gen 1. Yeah, that that's because that's Japanese strong style. The ultimate hold! No one could break out of this! <laughs> the master lock. The uh, announcer in Baki the Grappler is Oolong. <laughs> Not quite as charismatic as the Dragon Ball announcer or Kodo, but I, I guess I remember him, so... Onyx tried to fucking use Dig on me. It did shit damage. I, it's like, is this supposed to be a steel type gym, and yet they're throwing fucking rock types at me? Well, we don't have enough steel types to give to everybody. You gotta work your way up to the steel types. In that case, I'll just I'll just wash away all these rocks. Hell wheel. Dig? Nope. Hell wheel is the name of submission in Japanese. Hell we it's a reference to a manga, Judo Ich Ichokusen, by Iki Kajiwara. Okay, I've never heard of it. Is that the... This is that like a martial arts manga? The name submission does not match the move's appearance in the anime. Okay, so it was just... They just called it something completely different in English. That's disappointing. Because submission, if, if it was actually submission, it'd be more like rap. That move. You remember that move, right? Yeah. Rap. Judo Ichi... So it must... It's a judo manga. Judo Ichikusen. Okay. You should look up the move. See what it's... See what it is. Hell Wheel. List of judo techniques. No, that's not... Uh... Oh, it's, it's a Street Fighter move, Hell Wheel, that Ken uses. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, it's like a it's like a back throw. Maybe it's what? referencing the same thing because it it is a judo move. Uh, is Scorupi a a, a steel type? Bug poison. <laughs> oh, it's bug. Okay, flame wheel. That's Hell Wheel. Okay, uh, as Ken it. uses it. Oh, it survived. Used acupressure. Oh. Well, that's gonna do you fuck all, man. Pug poison. What are you doing in this gym? You can't even- your attacks don't affect the other members of the gym! Well, I guess they do, because they're not fucking Steel-type either! Hey, Steelix, finally! A Steel-type Pokémon. I just- I caught a bug as filler. They told me I needed another fucking, like, uh, Pokémon. So I chose a bug, because fuck Steel-types. It doesn't even evolve into a Steel-type. There's no reason for- oh, wow. Maybe it okay, knew I Iron Tail? It. Maybe that's why he had it? Perhaps. The other, uh, oh, Screech. Thank, thank you. Hell Wheel, I, I imagine, would be more like Flame Wheel, just the name of it. Yeah. 
on your tail, but it missed. Burn. Oh. Are you show you're showing it to me? I put it in the Discord. I'm putting it on okay. the screen. I assume yeah, cool. I assume that's it. That looks like a move that would be like the power most powerful early fighting type move. I'm gonna see it. It's just it's just a judo throw. That's it. That's the that's not a submission though. This was a Gen move, a Gen One move. Remember how loose and unshit giving they were with the translations in Gen One. Yeah, fair enough. Let's fucking call it hell toss or something. Back throw. Mac throw, yeah. No back throw. Yeah. Or judo throw. They have a karate chop, why not a judo throw? And they didn't even make karate chop fighting type in Gen 1. Wow, I'm in the mood to sing a lullaby. What? Your earnest enthusiasm, I guess that kind of makes you an ace. Maybe your trainer has the potential to surpass aces. I am the ace of aces. Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades, the yeah. The Ace of Spades! If you like to gamble, you know I'm your woman. Pokemon on Pokemon and people have worked together for many years. Let me show you an example. Power move. Just go through the entire gym with uh with like a, a, a iPod. Ear, ear, earbuds in, not really paying attention, beating everyone anyway. Um, this is just how I go through my life, huh? These fucking Onyx. Oh, you're digging. Cool. You got a flying type? You just have I... your bird, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, technically that'd be a good way to evade it. You could dodge the hit and then swap back immediately. Yeah. What? You mean I missed a level 3 bird? Oh, my Onyx is a ghost! <laughs> I can't cut it. Oh, that, that didn't hurt as much as I thought it would. Good. Alright. Grass Knot! Oh, it took again! <laughs> well, it's gonna do neutral damage to you. And no, probably not a whole lot more than uh, Iron Tail. How is my. How is. How is. Tuck slower than an Onyx? I guess plants aren't known for their mobility. Oh, you're almost to the spot that you'll be able to get a evolution stone for Tux. Oh, okay. You mean in this gym? Uh, immediately after the gym. Okay. Hey, Dipper's level 4 now. I mean, it's not quite Forrester. Like, winning a fight he shouldn't have. He was Dipper useful, to... though, so that's nice. Alright, what, what move do you want to learn, Dipper? Don't forget. So... Quick, you want to learn quick attack? Get rid of, uh, you can get rid of Growl. Oh, this Farfetch summons hail. This samurai duck has a, has like a dramatic snowstorm going around everywhere he goes. Nice. Level 6. Level 7. Jeez. Oh, and, and, and it was gonna send in another Onyx. Better get Lord Slug again. Ow. 
Surf's up, big kahuna. It's digging again. It's gonna fucking dig. I'm gonna fucking dig. Fuck you, I'm a digger. This is the Mole Man from Atlantis. Yeah. That was the most abridged Disney movie. But the most fast-paced. Yeah. That and Emperor's New Groove, except New Groove was more of a comedy, so it kind of got away with it. Yeah, that... Spectacular loss, but still a loss. I would lose in the most beautiful way possible. You die. I'm, I'm, I'm glad we're getting the final season of Bleach animated. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Indeed. I hope they get the whole... I, I hope it's still Viz and they get the cast back. Funimation's kind of taken over the industry. Which is nice insofar as everything's on the Funimation streaming service, but... Uh, oh, we, no, we never I'm... watched the new uh, Code Geass thing either. The Resurrection. Which yeah, has Resurrection. cast changes. Code... God, I have to go back to the. I'm going back to the. I'm going back. Wait, is this a shortcut? No, it's not a shortcut. Is there a shortcut in this uh, down to the ground in in this uh, part of the no. Not until the gym leader. You could go mm. to the gym leader and not fight him and use the shortcut. Have to fight another fucking Pokemon that could, that may or may not be an Onyx. Coming out swinging with it could be a fighting type. I don't have anything that's really super good against fighting types. So you only have yep another five Onyx. Pokemon, and you're five currently of... useless bird. It'll it won't be useless if I keep having it. Dodge digs. Yeah. What are the po Focus Pokemon blast. are coming up? So you're going to Iron Island after this, which actually has wild Steelix. Yeah, I bet it would, considering it's fucking Iron Island. Which is, as far as I can remember, like the only time that Pokemon with special trade evolution are just found in the wild. Because it was such a process to get a Steelix in previous gens. You had to do the trade while holding the special item. Yeah, sounds like a pain. <laughs> Steelix is slower than Onyx. Well, oh yeah, I think so. They made him even slower. He's just it's just a giant like tank armed with a fucking hot gun. Remember when they were going to have an octopus tank, but then then they chickened out. Octillery. And yet it still uses a bunch of, like, art artillery and, and projectile moves, and it just kind of doesn't convey the theme as well if it's not a tank. Yeah, well, we don't want to... I think you like can learn looks... Fire Blast, the octopus. <laughs> That has to be the like one of the most flashy Pokemon moves. A flaming cartwheel. Yeah. They just just I'm, I'm I don't know what that you. move's called, so I'm gonna call it unnecessary. <laughs> what was that? Is that, that, was, that uh, was that Felis? No, no, that was uh that was uh Brad Jones. In response to his... He was watching a, a, a Godfrey Ho movie. He was playing a character called Kung Tai Ted, and uh, and he saw like somebody just do an unnecessary like jump up to a place. And he's like, I don't know what that move was called, so I'll just refer to it as unnecessary. Have there any been any uh, video makers you watched who covered Ricky O? 
Yeah, uh, Brad Jones did. Is that the cinema snob? Yeah, cinema snob. He, he was, Is that he also was the, the guy who reluctantly watches hentai? Uh... Porn, yes. Hentai... Who's the one that reluctantly watches hentai? I don't remember which one reluctantly watches hentai. And fighting another ace trainer. Maybe, maybe I was just thinking of him and his reluctant porn. <laughs> I would have gotten fucked if I if I left my water type out there. Yeah. If I left my fire type out there. Fucking Azumarill has nothing, nothing to do with... It probably also knows Iron Tail. Yeah, you're right. You know what? At least it's just I can a bunch sleep. of non-steel Pokemon that know one steel move. Yeah, you're paralyzed. Get fucked. So I... My Moltres is, like, insanely high attack stat. It's got zero everything else maximum attack. It has uh. a really high attack move, but it's normal type, so I keep running into ghosts that I can't do fuck all about. That sucks. Oh, you're raising your defense. How about your special defense? I'm gonna confuse you. Man, missed opportunity. I mean, this should have put Yajirobe in the in the tournament of power. <sighs> Yajirobe doesn't want to do shit. That's the thing about Yajirobe. Once he figured out he could just live high on the hog eating beans, he's like, oh fuck it, I'm it. If we're judging by like the sequence of events in Dragon Ball, though, he's stronger than Roshi. Cool, not his experience, as well. granted. So but... not not only is Azumarill paralyzed, it's also she's also confused. Oh, yep, yeah, you're raising your defense again. Cool. You guys gonna get Monster Hunter Rise when it comes out? Uh, I assume that's one of the new ones. I've never played a Monster Hunter game. It's like Pokemon, except you kill them and eat them. Yeah. But the, the, the appeal of Pokemon is not killing them and collecting them and making them your own. Well... <laughs> and not in the form of armor, that doesn't count. I don't know, I, I, I don't particularly like a more realistic, kind of high fantasy style. So I've never really, I've just never been incentivized to try a Monster Hunter play game. And no one I watch has uh, done any streams of it. Hey, remember when Mario fought that dragon? That's right. That realistic, that I just, hyper realistic dragon. I just had a conversation in Bowser Court the other day. Like, do you think Bowser had a, 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 a Monster Hunter style sequence where he had to, like, dodge attacks and conquer the dragon before, before he got it to, to work for him? Would they say. I, I don't think anyone responded. Damn. I would have loved to, I would have loved to hear a response to that. Bowser as Dark Souls. Bowser. <laughs> that what would've, Mario that would game be... was this? Mario Odyssey had a realistic high fantasy giant fucking dragon in like uh in like a Castlevania world. It was very out of style for Mario, and that's what made it cool. You know, much like the T-Rex. The T-Rex is cool. Yeah, and the real people. There was a lot of weirdly realistic stuff in Mario Odyssey. God. It was... And then... <clears throat> and then the, uh... The reappearance of, uh... What's, what's her name? Pal Pauline. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I haven't played Odyssey you? yet. It was good. I liked it. I'm not it's crazy about 3D Mario. I've, I've learned over time. But I like that one. I don't know if uh, 64 Odyssey is my favorite yet. I like Galaxy a whole lot still. Galaxy and Galaxy 2 are, are fun. The uh, remasters have come out. Vinny started streaming Galaxy. Because he's never done a full stream of it on his channel. He hasn't, but he did the perfect run. Uh, he, I think he streamed it before he started archiving his videos. Oh, uh, okay. So it's been a long time. I d I'm still kind of looking at what people are playing to see what the differences are, what's been changed. 
Unfortunately, it seems... Don't quote me yet, it seems like motion controls are still required for Galaxy. Oh, that sucks. Whether hey. you're tilting the the Joy-Cons or the Pro Controller. You know what? That means that 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 that, that means that Galaxy 2 being on there makes even less not being on there makes even less sense. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, well why didn't you add it? Same engine, probably could have made the same changes that you did to Galaxy One. It's smaller than Galaxy One it too, is, as yes. well. It's like way this is less smaller. Cut scene. All right. You've defeated my son. Wait, that would. He still has much to learn. In place of my son Rourke, I Byron will take your challenge. You get it? It sounds like iron. It's Byron. Byron Von... So the Steel Gym Leader is the father of the Rock Gym Leader. Bronzor, oh. That you probably fought like a year ago by now. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait, I did? Who are you? Apparently 64 oh. and Sunshine wasn't a good transition to the Switch. How so? I know that Sunshine doesn't support GameCube controller, which is stupid, and I don't know why they didn't do that. I wonder if people are going to speedrun using that, or if they're just going to fucking ignore it, as they rightly should. Well, it's probably it's going to be less interesting for speedruns, because it does use the version that has the glitches patched out. Yeah. I'm sure there will be people who will be doing it. Uh-oh. But... That was a mistake. I think forgot. It's a graphics it's problem. Types. Are people types. comparing the graphics to like Dolphin? Because of, of course that's still gonna look better. How much damage is that gonna do? Oh, that's a one-hit kill. Awesome. Oh, that's because I crit. All right, cool. Bronze or fainted. Well, yeah, it's not gonna look better than Dolphin unless it is a full remaster, which we knew it wasn't. Bastodon? What is Bastodon? Uh... Well, why don't you see it and find out? It's a new Pokémon, Jack! What type? Is it Steel-type? It's the Steel-type gym, so yeah, probably. Alright. I'm a shield! <sighs> Missed. So, it's a shield dinosaur, and... I believe it has the highest defense stat of all Pokemon. Okay, well, Focus Blast. How do you like Special Attack? Was that Special Attack? I thought it was Physical Attack. Nope. Key is Special. Oh, okay, well... And that fucked him right <laughs> up. Critical Hit, four crit. times effective Special Damage. Some Shield. Uh I bet that dude's really impressed, like, oh, shit. It's supposed to be one of those ancient types. It is one of the two fossil Pokemon. Oh, you've got Steelix. the maximum attack headbutt dinosaur, and you have the maximum defense shield dinosaur. Alright. Oh, what's this? My last one. This is where we make our stand. Yeah, this is where I make my stand. If this Focus Blast misses, Sun Wu-Tang's gonna die, and I'm gonna have to use another Pokemon. Oh, no! Sound like it. you have three others G that can take out Steelix. GG. I think he's got some special defense. Maybe he'll survive. Or not. Nope. He's dead. I didn't even crit that time. Sun Wu-Tang. Three levels from evolving, I think. Maybe he's level 34, actually. We'll find out. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll over Ult ultra bad guys whole party because that that's what juggernaut do I'm sorry not weightlifter Ann is the leader of team galactic weightlifter <laughs> just a swole person you were strong enough to take down my prize team of Pokemon give you the mine badge it's mine now bitch yeah mine badge my badge. And now you use strength. Oh, God. 
all Pokemon up to level 70, which doesn't matter anyway. Yep. Take this too, TM91. Before we do Gen 5, I'm gonna make sure that both are modified such that uh, trade evolutions don't require trading. Because I don't Thank think there you. are any in this game, but there are a few in the next one. Yeah, at the very... Uh, th the next one's the one which actually has all Pokemon catchable immediately, right? Well, not all new Pokemon. There's 150 new to Gen 5 Pokemon and no old ones. Okay, yeah, that's that's what I mean. Like, there's there's no Pokemon that you gotta beat the game to go back to catch. Probably old ones, I think. Okay, alright. But right, there's well, definitely good. a lot more to catch than in this game. This one just didn't Flash introduce cannon. enough. So that's a special type steel move. Oh, well. I don't have any steel Pokemon. I don't remember I mean, Skarmory in this game. Skarmory are fun. Skarmory's a cool Pokemon. I like Skarmory. Giant steel chicken learn every move. Defensive wall. When did I use a Skarmory? I think, hey, that's the mind badge. Good going. You're I think you had one, Gen 3. Come to Wait, me. Why? Come with me to the library. Go to the library. You thought of doing an Among Us stream with the FSS crew. I Oh yeah, I've heard Among Us is pretty good. I haven't played it. I haven't seen anyone play it. I don't really know what it is. It kind of sounds like that bad alien game from Jackbox combined with like Town of Salem, but I don't know. It actually, it actually is a, people. I, I would say I would compare it more to Space Station 13. I don't know what that is. Uh, you can play as a you can play as a clown in that game and oh. uh, and well, that's with that's people. a keeper. Yeah, and also, I think there was like a, a, a tale I heard where uh, where people uh, were uh, were making. We're just a bunch of people decided they were going to clone a dude over and over, slice his ass off, and and uh, put robot legs on it, and make it a robot that just said "butt," and then and then somebody threw, like, came in here and and like yelled out, "What the fuck is going on here?" And then the robots started repeating it, but replacing certain words with "butt," and then all the other robots heard it and they started replacing it. So it was just a bunch of butt, butt spam, and then. <laughs> <laughs> and the clown came in and just started shouting out, honk, 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 honk. And, then, and, it's, and somebody threw in, like, like a fucking, like, speaker in there, which made, which then caused the entire station to start hearing the spam. <laughs> Scenes out of context. <laughs> I guess I'm going to the library now. Hello, B-Gamer. People compare Among Us to Mafia. Yeah, it's the same kind of pool of games as Town of Salem, Werewolf. Except, is, I, I actually, you know, what's a better comparison to it? What? Than, than uh, I would say Trouble in Terrorist Town. Yeah. Because you're active, you're, you're moving around and shit. Alright. Coming down with something? Uh, I have the windows open for the first time in a while. Quiet in the library. Are there any Pokemon battles in the library? Nope. Just a library. This this is where, in Japan, we find out that people once married Pokemon, though. Oh, yeah? Where do I find that out? Uh, it's not in the English. In the English, they changed it to they once ate at the same table. <sighs> Damn it. guys ever want to do it, let me know. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. I also I don't own the game. I haven't bought it. Yeah, and I'm, I'm going through money issues right now, so... I think it's only like $5. Okay. But... Oh, hey. It's also our... Uh... Okay, okay Gramps. Gramps. I brought Jackie, just like you said. I'm out of here! <laughs> okay, I get it. Oh, just uh, glares Rowan's, menacingly. Uh, Rowan is uh, is the is the revolver ocelot, right? Yes, that's the revolver ocelot professor. I, I've seen Metal Gear now. Now now I know who that character is in all his incarnations. 
Yeah, because yeah, earlier I was talking about Revolver also. You're like, Who, okay, if you say so. And now I say it, and you're like, yes, you're right. Love Revolt. <laughs> Go! He has as many Pokemon characterizations legend. as fucking Dumbledore. Now go! Let the Pokemon legend come back to life! Ponito, nice. <laughs> Who's farther? I, I'm farther than the game. My version is randomized, because I've played the Pokemon games a lot. This is Jack's first time playing through Gen 4. What what Pokemon would, uh, would Solid Snake have? Uh, stealth Pokemon? Probably so nin so, Dark types? So nin Ninjask, uh... I can't, I can't think if there are any, like, military Pokemon. Incineroar. Uh... Incineroar is not stealthy. No, but it is good at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Oh, uh, well, lots of Pokemon CQC. are. CQC Pokemon. Probably a combination uh, of, like, dark and fighting types. Yeah. He has the, uh, unfortunately, they, they pulled back on the, uh, on the fish that was going to be a gun. Otherwise, he'd just carry one of those around. Oh, man, somebody made a bunch of, like, really shitty, like, po potentially shitty Pokemon knockoffs, and one person made a Pokemon that was just Agumon with a gun. Yeah. So, uh, Ocelot is pontificating about the nature of evolution. Why don't legendary Pokemon evolve? Are they already perfect? <laughs> it's just, we have just to study this. this! He's playing this over stock footage of scientists at a lab. This is gonna be a, this is gonna be a tape that Snake can listen to out on the field. Where you three come in, in the three lakes of Shino, there are said to be Mirage Pokemon. If we can obtain data on them, may shed some light on how the process of Pokemon evolution works. Hey, Revolver, or Ocelot, why do you suddenly have a Western accent? Uh, just like Southern movies, that's all. He changed his accent. He's good at that. I like Westerns. I need help, I need help from each one of you on this grand undertaking. Help me find these Pokemon that are considered to be mirages. I didn't get no Pokedex! And who was it that bolted from the lab before I had a chance to give you a Pokedex? But that's water under the bridge. God oh, he's holding a grudge. <laughs> Seeing Pokemon with your own eyes is important for you in becoming a better trainer, too. <laughs> it's just a revolver ocelot talking about Pokemon in front of, in front of boss, in front of big boss. <sighs> You really think we need these for diamond dogs? <laughs> Just a bunch of Pokeballs. <laughs> we trade. <laughs> I like this Growlithe. I'm gonna call her you, Dee Dee. You encounter, you encounter Diamond Dog Trainer. Diamond Dog Trainer sends out Octillery. They were gonna do a tank again in Gen Five. They were gonna have a tank dragon, and They're again they backpedaled on it. <laughs> They're just not willing to do war machines as Pokemon. Yeah, they, they, you could have war machines that are powered by Pokemon. This is... I would have made you all of you go regardless. <laughs> that, yep, that's just like Ocelot. Anyway, now there are three lakes. Fortuitously, there are three of you. You should therefore split up and investigate the lakes individually. Lucas, you go to Lake Verity. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Ocelot, sir. <laughs> Sanic, I, <laughs> I want you to investigate Lake Ac Acuity. That would take you almost to Snow Point City. The road there is harsh. I need a tough trainer to go. So you're sending... Si oh, wow. Ice cap zone. Oh, Gramps, yeah. you know how to call it. Tell I'm the hotness. The hotness. And that leaves Jackie with Lake Valor. The lake is between Valistone and Pastoria, if memory serves. Has it stopped? What was that? <laughs> I like how, uh, the idea that the other three trainers are just panicking because of the fucking earthquake, and then Roa's just sitting there waiting for it to stop, and he's like, It stopped, huh? Are all of you unharmed? Let's go outside, but be careful. I'm concerned about the city. This was a calculated strike on Mother Base. 
Jackie, hurry along, but beware of aftershocks. You know what would have made Kiefer Sutherland work is if the other snake had still been David Hayter. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that would have been great. Unfortunately, no. Genesect would be one. Oh, a member of the the Solid Snake team. It's. I, I've never had a Genesect. It's one of the mythical Pokemon, the event onlys of Gen 5. And oh. it's like. Uh, it's a fossil Pokemon that's been outfitted with uh, robot gear. Oh, our R and D team: Magnemite, Magneton, and uh, the Magna UFO. Weren't there shots in the manga, like Pokemon Adventures, of like uh, Team Rocket using them as guns or something, like shooting people with electricity? What Magnemite? They just hold held them like yes. Rifles? <laughs> Snake, we've we boss, we've given you this new gun. It's just a, it's just a magnemite. Yeah, we've outfitted it with a trigger, a handle, and and iron sights. That tremor, that wasn't a natural occurrence. Hey, hey, old dude, kids! Something big just happened. There was a huge explosion at Lake Fowler. Kaboom! Like that. Gramps, I'm going to the lake. You just call me. Old dude. <laughs> oh man, I like I like how that the the, the ocelot you 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 look at in Metal Gear Solid Five is the same one that we chased around with the fucking bomb detonator. But he's Metal just Gear an old Solid. man who no longer has a southern accent by that point. Yeah, because it was a. I mean, yeah, just accents come and go. That that's a thing that happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that fucking revolver ocelot just set up this big fucking trap with a bunch of tripwire and then he expects you to fucking <laughs> just fight there and then you blow up the, the dude in the center he calls you an idiot worried about Lake Valor for context no we played Metal Gear Solid 1 together off stream and got through yeah, most a long of time it ago. The disc crashed, so we never got to play the ending of it, but I have since watched playthroughs of all the games. Yeah, so the, the we got to where uh, where Liquid was starting up the Metal Gear, and, uh, and Snake was a, was like, they were about to have their showdown, and it just stopped. It just froze. Yeah. He just wasn't able to start it. That's where the story ended. They took him into custody, and that was that. Yeah. We missed the shirtless fist fight. Yeah, that was that would have been awesome to play. Just, just, just fist fight. I feel better having watched them because there it's not a game. It's not a series I would have been interested in playing through. Yeah, I was more interested in playing it than you were. I know the lore is interesting, but that's the main appeal of it is the storytelling. It's, as opposed it's to just play for me. It's great because it starts off as like a realistic like military thing, and then it just goes crazier and crazier. And that's each, like, mainline Metal Gear Solid game. It just starts off with, like, a realistic military plot, and then and then suddenly it just introduces, like, crazy stuff. Baby Mantis. Instead of Psycho <laughs> Mantis, they have a Mewtwo, the, the one in the armor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you don't so understand. He was animating all of the characters in Metal Gear 5. It was just him just playing with toys. Where's oh, hello, Rhyperior. Do I have? I have one of you. Where's the? Where's the lake? The lake? Oh, you should go to uh, talk to the sailor on the right here. And that goes to Iron Island, which is going to be a, a sequence of like a caves. So be like healed and everything. Oh, yeah, I am. But if you go through this, you'll get a. Oh, do you have a... Hey, you, you you should actually go back and clear a space, because you're going to get a Pokemon egg. Oh, do you, why didn't you tell me before? Well, I'm telling you now, before you're in the cave. Okay, well, what's the cave? What type of Pokemon is the cave going to have? Uh, steel types. <laughs> of course. I don't remember anything notable besides Steelix. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna get a Steelix. Yeah. 
Seal types aren't useful for, like, offense. They're useful if you want to just fucking stonewall somebody. So if I was, in other words, if I was fighting you. But, uh, you're gonna get a Pokemon egg, and you're gonna get the stone that you need to evolve Tux. Alright. Well, in that case... Uh... It would be incredibly useless against. So I want to keep Tux with me. I guess that means that Lord Slug would be the most useless against uh, your birds. I guess you're right. Yeah. I'm just gonna take a boat back here afterwards. Yeah. Can I fly from the island? No. You can. Okay. Well, it's fine. Oh, this is the chamber where God lives. You're not God, you're a bug. I thought that was a bird for a second. You bird brain! Oh man, imagine Revolver Ocelot, but with fucking uh, sex pistols. Yeah. I mean, he basically already has. He could just ricochet bullets like crazy. Imagine Mista, but he does the, the stupid gun-rotating throwing shit Ocelot does. He chilled out with that after three. <laughs> that was th that was when he was the youngest. Of course he was doing that shit. Cocky young Ocelot. Yeah, remember, remember <laughs> when he was like, the first time you see him, he has one gun, one revolver. And the next time you see him, he's got two revolvers. The next time you see him, he's juggling three revolvers. <laughs> Let's Eight let fate bullets. decide this. There's no reason for him to do that. Can I just sleep in this house? That was what he considered a duel, too, was him juggling guns and seeing if the bullet killed someone. With no input on their part, that was a duel. <laughs> <laughs> was it? Did it turn out he was like working for the American government or some shit? I don't remember if he was working <laughs> for th the guys. Well, the Patriots didn't exist yet, so. Yes. I don't. I don't remember if he was undercover or not. In three. The old man. You mean yes? Now it's time to die. Iron Island. To go left first? One of these is a dead end. <laughs> Revolver Ocelot is like being accosted by bees and he goes, I'll try spinning, that's a good trick. And it worked. Yes. <laughs> he just spinned his guns and that swatted the bees away. Yeah. Pain, the pain, the pain. Their memorable villain dialogue from Metal Gear 3. And then Snake uh, is like, these guys won World War II? Because that's the thing, they fought in World War II and they had the ability to, like, control bees and... And... <laughs> what else? Uh, what, what, so it was uh, the pain, which was the, beer, the, the bee dude. The fear, who was the invisibility dude. Was he invisible? Uh, who's the guy who's got like flying around trees and screaming a lot? Wasn't that the fear? I think that was the fear, yeah. The sorrow, obviously, is infamous. Uh, yes, the he... end, the old man. The end. The joy oh. was a nickname for the boss. The anger, the fury. What was there was an anger, anger one. That, you're, are you talking about uh, rage, Falcon? Rage I, thought, I thought there was one called the Fury or something. Yeah, it was the the fire flamethrower guy. Oh yeah. <laughs> he didn't have any powers. He just had a flamethrower. Yep. Unlike Volgan, who had powers. And Somehow. Persisted after... <laughs> I like I I love Metal Gear Solid's lore. It's just. It's magical realism, but at, but in a military setting as opposed to like an urban fantasy setting. For some reason, it works. And it just got more batshit as the series went on. Yeah, that's why I liked it so much. 
because it just escal it knew how to escalate. And where would the series have gone from there? It couldn't have gone anywhere. Like everybody was From Metal Gear 5? Yeah, after what would Metal Gear 6 have been like? Was that the one that would have involved time travel? I, I don't know. I don't know where else it could have gone. Hello! I like to camp! Let's battle! I haven't finished Revengeance yet. I just started watching that. That's and a, it's that's bizarre to see the animation change from... Because Platinum excels at, like, big, flashy, scenic animations, but not so much subtle facial and body capture animations. So those yeah. all look really weird and janky. <sighs> Rules of nature. Also very different soundtrack from the mainline it's series. A, it's a different studio. It's Platinum. Yeah. Platinum is known for having big action sequences and... Oh, man. So something I, I learned about uh, Platinum is that... Uh, is that apparently they would have gone under if it wasn't for near uh, automata? Yeah. Yeah. So that 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 makes me happy. That uh, that. Where did all their money go before that? Them. What? Where did all their money go before that? Um, I think it's because they had a streak of bad luck with licensed games. Yeah. They did that. They did that average Korra game. Uh, and also their games despite being very good, just don't sell well. Because they're just... Their original titles especially just don't really Was that sell well. uh, before they did Bayonetta or Revengeance? Uh... Revengeance... Revengeance was an exception because it was a licensed game. I think it was before they did... It was... It was before they did Bayonetta 2. I don't know. I, I think. I think that's how that was. All I know is that uh, is that near Tomita being a smash success uh, saved them from bankruptcy. Yeah. So this Kingler is a ghost and knows how to vanish into the ether. Yes. It just pulled itself into subspace. Subspace crab. Stunky. That's a kind of annoying typing. It's a dark poison. It's only vulnerable to ground off the top of my head. Shit, I should have saved... I kept, uh... Whatever. Focus Blast. Moves. That's... I missed. Yeah. Burn the demon out! one more hit and it'll die. Hello, Lantern. I haven't, been, I haven't been catching any Pokemon lately. The good ones are all, like, fully evolved and I don't want to take the time to try to fight their catch rates. If only you hacked yourself infinite master balls. Yeah. Maybe that'd be beneficial for a randomizer just to save time. Yeah. Oh, look. Another Graveler. Just all Gravelers and, uh... Gravelers and Steelixes. I haven't seen a Steelix once. It's just been Gravelers and Geodudes. It's like that scene. It's like that series of scenes in Kill la Kill where Ryu Ryoko just uh, just defeats uh, club member, club leader one after another. They don't flesh out any of them. Those yeah. are the mooks. We never finished Kill la Kill. I don't remember how far we got. Uh, I think the four pillars. He has to fight four of them. Quack, quack, quack. 
Let's see if Water Pulse is enough to kill him. Oh, I'm Oh, sure. hey, it is. Are we faster than it? I am faster than it, yes. Lord Slug is a fast fucking slug. Are you ready for the surprise? Iron Ball. An Iron Ball. What does an Iron Ball do? Makes you slow as shit and nullifies your flying type. Oh, it's one of those things you gotta sneak onto another Pokemon. You can use That's... that, and its only other use would be to make that, uh... That Steel-type move, Gyro Ball, that is stronger if you're slower. You can make that stronger. Oh, wow. That's... that sounds lovely. Which I think... your... Bell is gonna learn eventually, so it could be good for that. Oh, oh. It, but he can levit... Oh, uh, whatever. Oh, uh, that would eliminate the levitation as well. That, that would suck. Yeah. It would, yeah. You know what else sucks? This encounter rate. I'm going to... I'm going to lower it. No. It's a Yuki Ona. Where are ya? You have one repel. And one super oh. repel. Weak wild Pokemon, so it could actually not work at all. Anything below your leads level, the first Pokemon in your party. Oh, really? Okay, well, in that case. 200 steps, I gotta make every step count. I haven't heard a lot of these music tracks in a long time because I usually play with the music off. Yeah, I'm tending to do that now as well. Just because. Just when you're playing games on your own. Yeah. I just, oh, I like shit. to multitask and watch stuff. What? I just like to multitask and watch stuff. I found another super repel. Awesome. Good timing. Go away! There's another Pokeball down there. Fuck. There's, there was an item down there. Okay. Another Repel. What's the base Repel? It's only like 50 steps. 100. <clears throat> Do you have a... Can I use it? I Do you have use the... It. Yep, I use it. The item that does that? The... A cleanse tag or something? Oh, do I? Lowers the counter rates? Yeah, if the first Pokemon in your party holds it. Oh yeah, yeah uh, Sun Wu Tang is holding it. Yeah, I just don't have him up front because he wouldn't be very useful in this gym. Escape rope. Cool. That means I can get out of this fucking gym. God, it is fucking gym. My gym burned down. Now I'm homeless and living out in an island cave. Oh. oh, God. So, why is you over here flirting with the frost last? Hey, don't, don't judge. Staravia. Oh, a bird. Okay. Oh, don't you think you're enjoying this a little too much? Snake. Yeah, that's the thing I do about not have an unhealthy being... interest in torture. Yeah, that's right. He's he likes he's a torture technician. I, I prefer interrogator. Was he the one that interrogated Huey in five? Uh, yes. He interrogated Huey. Hashtag Huey did nothing wrong. Uh... Who, who all did he interrogate? In the first game, it was Snake. 
Yeah. Was he in two? He was in two, but I don't remember if there were any interrogation sequences. Interrogated Big Boss in three, along with Volgan. And then in four... What? Oh no! The Cherub can transform? I think he interrogated Raiden in two. Someone did. I remember the, the yeah. Naked Raiden part. Naked Raiden. Not to Come be confused with Naked Snake, who is less naked than Naked Raiden. Yeah, it's a, it's only like a metaphor because he uh, he has no equipment, no uh, no nothing. He's got to everything has to be procured on site. And there was probably interrogation in four that I'm forgetting about. Probably. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch. Cleanse tag, do your thing. I want to say, go right first. Okay, I'll save just in case. Saving a lot of data. A lot of data. You know, data from Star Trek sang. Yeah, he was very good at it too. And Joe Pesci had a rap album. Which, from what I understand, he he sounds exactly like you would expect him to. He still sounds like Joe Pesci. Yeah, it's like if a, if a gang if a fifties gangster was like rapping. Oh, you got a Lugia? I want a Lugia. Maybe I don't. Uh... Lugia has no defense. He took that like a bitch. Just. imagine, like, a dude, right? He, he, somebody just claiming to be the most powerful wizard in all of the land, and then a fucking, like, halfling just punches him in the dick and he dies. This glass cannon Gandalf gets taken out by a yeah. rock. Is... Oh, I'm... that reminds me. Oh, shit. It's a multi-hit attack. No. You can, you can tank it, Wu-Tang. Apparently, in this uh, game called the uh, Evo, uh, the most powerful move is you throw a rock. You can learn after billions of years of evolution. I'm telling you, Spelunky knew what was up. <laughs> Spelunky That's out 2, now, right? now out on PlayStation 4, uh, oh, yeah, nine days before the PC release. Joel did a stream of it, but I have not watched it because I want to stay blind. Yeah, I agree. Oh, hey, I just realized, Spelunky 2 has, has a local co-op, right? It has local and online, I believe. Okay, well, we can do local through Parsec. Yeah. Yeah. Can't imagine it's gonna be, like, a super resource-intensive game. Well, it's... Okay, I really need to... to fix my line... Uh, to... Here, give me the cleanse tag. I'm gonna put it on slug. G g give... give me you the... item take. Give me the cleanse tag. I'm gonna try catching a Foratress. It's got like a really high defense stat. I wonder where all those stats went. One of the uh, most forgotten Pokemon. A lot of Gen 2 Pokemon were kind of forgotten about. Oh my god. What? They tricked me again, a gold band. Oh, is it? No, it's not speed related. I don't think. How did they trick you? Didn't you? Is the... I guess the cleanse I, tag was, was not just strong graveler enough. After graveler after graveler after graveler, and then suddenly, hey, gold bat. Fuck you, gold bat time. I can swap Pokemon. I, yeah, I could. Get confused, buddy. No? Okay. I guess, I guess I'll get what? 
If I could get a, uh, if I could get a, a paralysis move on Juggernaut, my flying slime, he'd be a good Pokemon catcher. <laughs> yeah. I have Dragon Rage, so I can just kind of whittle something down while it can't do anything to me because my Ultra God has Wonder Guard. Wonder Guard is, is great. Just this guy did manage to poison me. Wonder Guard can only be balanced if he uh, the person found a Max Ether. Is like uh, is is uh, Shedinja the most like the sorrow esque Pokemon? You can't physically attack it. The sorrow. Yeah, isn't it like the in the, the in the sorrow section, you're you're confronted with the ghosts of everybody you killed. Yeah. It just sorrow is already dead. And then you get to the end, and there's like a, there's like a fake out. I think like Snake dies, but you can use the revival pill. Yeah, that's what the revival pill is for. That's, and if you don't have, I wonder if you already used a revival pill, what happens if you just die anyway? Because, because the revival pill was for the fake death pill. Yeah. So do you get an infinite amount of those, or are you just fucked if you, if you use it already? I don't know. And for any other sex, shit, I have to go up the other way. You like caves? Not particularly, no. Is this gonna be another gold bat? No, it's a, it's a onyx. It's trying to fake me out again. Get out of here. Why is the onyx faster than I am? Fucking onyx. Well, at least it can't take a hit from uh, from my water pulse. You fucking got it. Stealth mode. Ah, uh, Bagmore Pokemon. It's fire and poison. Fire and po oh, it's a uh, Salazzle. Or evolved one. Yeah, uh, so, I think Salazzle is the evolved. Yeah, Salandit is the unevolved. Salazzle yeah. is the wife. Its pheromones are overwhelming even for non-Pokemon. Ooh. I, an I think I have an A. Yeah, I can hash out. Iron Tail. I also got a protein. Why haven't I been using these? I'm just gonna increase my glass cannon's attack even further. Oh, shit. Did you drop your bike? Yeah, well, yeah, it's back now, though. How much longer is this cave? I think you're almost done. Alright. Oh man, so I remember this trash game, right? Called VIP for PlayStation 2. Yeah. Some British dudes were playing it. Okay, I'm, I'm at the end of this cave. Is there an invisible item there? What? I, I, I don't know. It, seemed, it, it seems like a conspicuous dead end, but... No, Usually a to. dead end is just a dead end. You could run from battles as well. Yeah. What's who's my fastest party member? 
you have an item that guarantees running from any Pokemon as well, with the smoke ball. Oh, yeah. Wait, is that an equipable thing? Yeah. Okay. Well then, let's, uh... Give smoke ball Now we go Checking checking nothing. Oh, is this a ghost? God damn it. <laughs> This is a ghost, damn it. I run. Was that a one? I hope that wasn't just a no. one use item. No, it's not. Okay. Well, I guess I gotta fight these guys at some point. You don't have to. Yeah, you're right. You just go to the end of the cave, get your thing. Damn it. Oh no, this is good. That's not a trainer. That's, no? uh, do you remember when you went through the forest, you met someone who, uh, like, went through with you? Oh, yeah? Okay, cool. It, it, she'll automatically heal my Pokemon as we go along? Yes. Or they will? Alright. Don't worry, I'm not a trainer. You are? Oh, you're, you're Jackie. I'm Riley. I'm a trainer. Yeah, it's a little weird. Let's team up. Can I run in double battle still? Uh, you can do double battles with him, or if you talk to the trainers, it'll be a single battle. Okay. So I can still run from, uh... Yeah. He's got a Lucario. He does have a Lucario. I think this is our first time seeing one? No, Maylene had one. I'll humor him this time. This is the last section of the cave, this double section. Alright. Yeah, your defense. Oh, Metal Claw. Why? He's a fighting type. He's a steel type as well. Yeah, that's right. For some reason, but Goku why, is fighting steel type. Because he's the Man of Steel! You know, literally Superman. The Geodude just fucking exploded. Well, it's a good thing you, he, he heals you. I came all the way up to the top of a icy mountain just to find rabbits training. <laughs> They're able to survive on the moon, and that's much colder and a harsher environment than the top of a mountain. It's the only thing that reminds him of home. Oh, hey, Flareon. Yeah, that's how they keep warm. They just have a bunch of Flareon. It's all the cute little critters train on the mountaintops. Where no one can bother them. Can you heal my Pokemon? Oh, you already did. Okay, cool. Oh, that's a double battle down there. I'll ignore it. Double Steelix! <laughs> nope. Nope, I'm not- I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Let's- Let's go, friend. Let's- Let's blow this joint. Double Steelix. That's why, that's why, uh, I just realized, that's kind of why, uh, 
Pokemon decided to do double battles a whole lot. They were doing double battles constantly in the anime. Oh, yeah. Well, they introduced yeah, they... them in the previous gen, but didn't really use them a lot in Ruby Sapphire. Then they introduced yeah, was... a bunch of them in Emerald to compensate. And now they're everywhere in Gen 4. But wait till we get to triple battles. Is that a thing? There are, in fact, multiple types of triple battles in Gen 5. Yeah, remember, uh... Yeah, is it like, uh, Gigantamax battles where it's just like a raid battle, but with... So, if you'd like to know where you're going, you have to go past the martial arts guy, you, which you already are, and then you have to go past the two psychics is the end of the dungeon. Alright, what's the magnet do? Or the two green-haired. Uh, magnet powers up electric-type moves. Oh, okay. Give that to, uh... Shinix, then. Leave. I'm trying to uh, make sure I check for all the hidden items, because they can be anything in my version. Yes. As opposed to something useless. You're useless! Oh! Hello! Oh, You're no. up here on the mountain, Mr. DNA F Virus Space Mutant? You'll want him. I want to catch you. I want to see what your stats are, Space Mewtwo. Let's fight. I'll pound the fear of my fists into you all karate style, punk. Me oh, I you thought you were... Okay. I... Fuck it. Fuck it, they're here. Now, will he be able to kill Juggernaut? Hopefully he can't, like, explode or run away or something annoying. It's hailing. It is hailing. That's gonna hit Juggernaut. It's also gonna hit the Deoxys. That's gonna make this difficult. What does Anticipation do again? It warns them of if the opponent has a super effective move, I think. Oh. Oh, I almost killed it, but not yet. Bones! Wait, what, Lucario, where'd you get a fucking bone? Don't worry about it. His trainer taught him to bone. Get your mind oh no, high jump kick. That missed, he would have taken damage. Oh wow, it's still alive. Oh my god, I got some Ultra Balls, let's try those. Lucario just got fucking one-shotted. More experience for what? I don't think that actually affects it. So it knows growth and amnesia, which would suggest that it's a grass psychic type. Oh, it does know a move that can hit me. Why don't we till now to use it? An Ultra Ball, because it wanted to toy with you. This is no playground. Battle me. No, battle me. That's an unfortunate pose. Yeah? 
Like they're taking a dump. Oh, I don't have a good team comp at all for fighting rock types. You got your. You could put your slug out. Well, then again, Watt is like is like several levels above both of is like ten, nearly ten levels above both of them. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna crunch him. Bite rock. Oh, hey, I got it. It worked. Hey, cool. You cut Deoxys. Save. Psychic ground. Okay. So is Deoxys evil in the regular game? It doesn't really have any like story events tied to it. In the in it the, just in, is in the remakes Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. There's like a final arc where it's like a, a space invader. Oh, it's an alien, alien. I don't know how conscious or evil it is, even in that context. I wonder. I wonder if you could feed it curry. How would it, it would react? Well, the Meta Rex loved curry, especially the yeah. yellow one. Oh, Steelix. The Max Revive. I don't know if I want to use that, though, even for Juggernaut. And a Graveler. Are these wild? Wait, what? Steel, uh... Electricity doesn't, doesn't affect steel? It doesn't affect ground. Oh, it's ground type as well. Dang it. And paralyze. Do you think that makes the the electric type feel self conscious that Lucario was able to paralyze it? The graveler just fucking exploded. What almost did took it, it like a boss. Hello, Pizioto. What are you doing up here? I was already out here. Why'd I come back? All right, fine. You want you want some? You want trouble? I'll give you trouble. Never talk to me or my son ever again. <laughs> Wait, but you already paralyzed it. Why didn't you just hit the other one? You fool! Very little effect. Oh, it destroyed it. Dragon breath! It knew dragon breath! Yeah. You know, that dragon. I, I kinda wanted that banana dinosaur. Oh well. My, my catcher is dead. Red Frieza oh, killed shit. it. I can't use Surf or else Lucari will get hit as well. That's fine. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. The NPCs do not have the capacity for grudges. The NPCs don't hold grudges. Hey, I'm sorry I killed your Pokemon. Hey, can you heal me? <laughs> Oh, it rock polished to raise its speed. Too bad. Let me help you with that polish. Like going through a car wash and then it rains the next day. Yeah, it, oh, it survived. He survived, barely. There hasn't been a car Pokemon yet. That's probably for the best. Car Poke. There's been a car Earthbound enemy. Yeah. 
It's just Lightning McQueen, the new Pokemon. Hey, cool, Lord Slug leveled up. His defense raised dramatically. Brendan and Quentin are up. You played me like an amateur. Maybe I should head to the gym and work out there. Is that what you're doing? Working out? Work out these glutes. See anything you like? <laughs> Look on the pump. You up. We are two wild and crazy guys. Man, there's another legendary, but my catcher's dead. It's okay, it's not a very good legendary anyway. Max Potion. Just a whole lot of nothing. Too much of nothing. Can make a man think he's a king. Takes a lot to Oh, this is where all the Steelix were hi hiding. Yeah, they were hiding to ambush the, us in Bunch twos. Of metal dildos hanging out in the Doubles Cavern. I would just have my slug out and surf everything in here. Oh, you got a Typhlosion? It's fine, I can just run from everything. Remember? Yeah. Oh, I can surf these guys. I mean, Steelix is ground type, so he's vulnerable to water as well. I... I thought steel uh, had a resistance to water. Nope. Oh, it's, a, it's the only the other way around. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'm game. Steel Wait, bad no. offensively, not always good defensively. Usually. Has there been a fairy steel type yet? There has. It's the keys. Have you seen the oh, keys, yeah. Pokemon? No, I haven't. They're key. It's just a fucking keychain. <laughs> right, well, this way can't be. There's a little more to it than that. I don't have a problem with the key Pokemon as much as I do like the garbage Pokemon, for like more reasons. But we'll get we'll get to them. He's hanging out in France. You just you just reminded me of uh, of another book that I need to add to my list. Oh, that's right. You started reading. Uh... You started a book a book list recently. Yeah, a bunch of EPUB books, um, and uh, currently the two books I'm reading through are completely different. One is Pride and Prejudice, the other is Neuromancer. Which Neuromancer is credited as the first cyberpunk novel. Yeah, one of the first. is like the originator of, of the genre. We battle here, your Pokemon will become stronger, and so will mine. It's a good thing for both of us. What's not to like? Let's throw down! Tough Pokemon. Tough trainers. Where else can I find a place as good as this to train? I Are don't you two know. sisters? Victory Road? Were you too, oh, too much of a pussy for that? Oh, one of them's a guy. Okay. Jonah they're, they're and Brenda. Brenda. Yeah, the twins. A developer. <laughs> You're fucked. <laughs> It's like Gyarados, but not cool. <laughs> what was that, that uh, Pokemon that can dive and come up with shit? That was... Uh, I'm, a, lot, a lot of water Pokemon can dive. No, I meant the one that had, like, stuff in its mouth whenever it came up. The whale? No. The, the, it was a game mechanic. Sometimes you come up with a Pikachu and if you were to hit it. Oh, the, yeah, the bird. It, it doesn't, yeah. like, dive under... I don't remember the details of how that thing worked. It would usually be a fish, but it had a small chance of being a fucking Pikachu. Yeah. The Vore Pokemon. Oh, poor Lucario, you're dead. Nope. Wow. But it's trapped in a vortex. What if it came up and it had another of its own in its mouth? 
<laughs> it has it, it has one of its own in its mouth, and, and then under, and then in, in that that one's mouth, it's it's a Pikachu. <laughs> it's like Just when a, uh, like when Joel replaced Sims' heads with bathtubs and made them take baths in each other. Joel Joel should stay away from The Sims. Bad stuff happens when he plays The Sims. Yeah. Oh wow, that pseudo Wudo is fucking tough. I don't have nearly enough healing items for this. Do I get an ether at least. It's okay. Just get just get a partner to to heal your your stuff for you. I got none. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, Lucario avoided the attack. Max Ether, do I want to use that? Alright, Lucario, take out that pseudo Wudo and we're in business. Awesome. Alright, is that it? You would kill them all. I don't think I understand how the the citrus berry works. Cause oh God. in Gen 3, it healed no, 30 first. hit points. Sometime later it held, healed a percentage. But in the randomizer, is it random every time? Because it's healing different Pokemon by different amounts. Like wildly Dark. different amounts. Dark versus ghost. Super effective. Okay, okay. Quick, eat these fruit. You'll feel better, bug. One more. Oh, I got Float a weapon berry. I can use that for PP. Here, eat this. It'll give you PP. This is what we call it diuretic. Watt's like my strongest Pokemon right now. Yeah. Just far and away stronger than everything you else. Should, you should give some others some EXP then, instead of continuing to use your level 40 Watt. It's not level 40 yet. Yeah. Is that your stopping point? Yes. Fuck Pikachu's, I got this one. Yeah, I really do enjoy the win there. What if... We're the best. <laughs> All right. Mr. Slug. You get you get the smoke bombs. What kind of ninja technology is that that it never runs out of smoke? It's just it's just you put you pop the batteries and the liquid in there and then it's like there how any go. Pokemon now... can learn toxic. It's actually just like poison needles you carry around. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's how that works. It's so strange that any Pokemon can learn toxic. Yeah. It's still useful though, toxic. Den, 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 a strange den. and unlikely friendship between bat and snake. The bat and snake. Oh, uh, Batman's teaming up with uh, Snake. Yeah. That would be that would be a weird cross. Oh, what do you think about this situation, Bruce? <laughs> How'd you know my real name? I have ways of finding out. I do the key for Sutherland Snake just because it's fun and dumb to do. Well, I mean that's technically boss, so. I mean he was David Hater in three though. Yeah. I love your idea of just uh, their like Kiefer Sutherland being the fake boss and then the real boss being. Well, because that would make sense. Yeah, and that the, would make the sense. The real one only appeared for a very short amount of time, so it wouldn't have mattered. You'd still get the appeal of Bill and Kiefer Sutherland, and yeah. you know, spending all your budget on five lines from him. And not, not to mention, 
He just didn't talk a whole lot. No. Because <laughs> Keith, Keith for Sutherland's expensive. Yeah. They demand their Hollywood actors, so they de or their TV actors, so they demand TV money. Keith for Sutherland. He just he just wanted him because he because he's like because he was in Twenty Four. Hey, gold bat, get fucked. Paralysis cure. Yeah. Alright, I think Water Pulse will finish it off. Oh, it's gonna confuse Ray one of us. Uh, did it confuse Ray me? It did. If this were Metopia, you, you you would definitely be getting like a, a debuff from surfing Lucario over and over again. <laughs> you, you Why no would you do time. that? His, that was the last straw. I think I'm at the end of the cave. Hello, random Team Galactic members. Just hanging out, doing evil cave stuff. We've been waiting for you. So what what uh do they send out usually again? Uh just mook Pokemon. Like Zubats oh. and, and Stunkies. Okay. Well, alright, slug, do it. I get I it get now. It. You're responsible for agitating all these Steelix. I don't care what good reason you may have, but I don't want you bringing any trouble into my mind. We're Team Galactic. We'll take all the Pokemon we want. Isn't that right, partner? You said it, brother. That's what we're going to do. We're abducting all the Pokemon from this rusted-out Iron Island. Wow, these they, they had a budget. They got both. They got Kiefer Sutherland for both characters. I was actually trying my best Rip Torn. Yeah. <laughs> Did they ever work you know together? What? Kiefer Sutherland and Rip Torn? I don't think so. They've had two different career paths. Yeah, wait, I got it. Instead of Kiefer Sutherland for uh, Big Boss, you get Rip Torn. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a much different character. Smell Rip Torn's kind of got the bitter old man thing going on. Smells sweet like rotten fruit. You think this was a coordinated attack? It's Huey. He's a traitor. So what do you think about Huey's arc in uh, Peace Walker and Five? Just kind of sad. He's just... I, he, he, <laughs> did, he fucked up a lot himself. It, it, was, yeah. it was a lot of cringe to watch him fail and to watch no one else be able to... Like, no, no one could a... figure out the truth about him easily and he wasn't making it easy for some reason. I'm ooh, just kind of tripping over himself all the time. Teehee, I'm mysterious. Okay, so he wants to learn a uh, self-destruct. How bad is that? 70. Oh, yeah, wow. that's worth dying for. One shot glam meow. Oh, it looked mean at uh, Lucario. How can you tell? It doesn't have eyes. He can feel. And then. Crow a gun. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna get. Sun Wu Tang. That Raikou got a lot of HP. No! You... I like how, by virtue of the fact that my armadillo has beat up, that Moltres gets to attack twice per turn.
it's the that's the power of uh, friends. It's the power of beat up. I guess. Yeah, it's the power of friendship where you gang up and beat the shit out of somebody. Yeah. Yeah, that, Yugi, Yugi, Tristan, uh, Joey, and uh, Taya just gang up on the villain and they just beat the shit out of him. Just... Im implying that they ever actually did anything in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, that would have been something. That was like the worst offender of series that boasted about the power of friendship, but only one person ever did anything. Yeah. Well, Joey kind of did stuff too, but only occasionally. And yet everyone still shit on him the entire time. Yeah, despite the fact that the other two people don't. How fucking dare you, Tristan? What do you do? Nothing. Did my game just freeze? Oh no, it's just- okay, so there's a graphical error. Okay. I see it. You know what, I'm gonna get Method Man, I haven't used, uh, used him in a while. The, the legendary Pokémon is so mysterious, you don't get to see- okay, there it is. There's its face. Oh, what is it actually, I wonder? Are you gonna well, find last out? time, it was a Swinub, was the ultimate god of, of continents, Groudon. The, I, I can't wait for Dialga, the god of time, to be, to be like a rat attack. Oh, Stunky's poison type. This will hit hard. Actually, I hope it's something shitty, because then I don't have to worry about trying to catch it. It's a Pikachu. Whereas in Gen 5, you're actually required by the plot to catch the legendary Pokemon. Yeah, that's where it starts. Oh, what? I guess that'll make it actually easier if it's not. I guess it could it could depend on what it ends up being. Once they're required to catch, they like super reduce the catch rates of said legendaries, so they're more reasonable. Yeah. Oh no, Lucario got fucking curb stomped. Method Man's not really doing a whole lot. There we go. He can't affect Stunky because it's Dark type with Psychic. Oh yeah, this, I forgot about that. I thought it was Poison as well, and that would have. Uh, it just needs one ineffectual type to make it ineffectual. Ah. Uh. Breeder Bob and Breeder Marilyn. The Team Galactic superpowers. Breeder With their Bob. fucking baby Pokemon. Oh, I'm trembling. <laughs> I don't understand why we don't get promoted. <laughs> well, time to fucking beat up a Togepi like a monster. <laughs> like that final level of that Japanese game where the final villains were just butterflies just yeah. flying about. This guy only had his fucking Lucario. I have to fight all these people two oh, on one. What happened? I did that the baby Ryulu knocked me out. <laughs> I should have gone for him. him. Why don't we get promoted? <laughs> I don't understand. It's a mu oh, it used a multi-hit attack, which could be really powerful. So maybe he'll land with like five hits of a hundred power each or something. I'm not careful. I'm getting my ass handed to me. Uh, fighting is bad against both of them. Right, Fire's gonna be new. Fire's your best bet. Oh it's neutral God. damage, but it'll hit reasonably hard. Kill that Zubat, please. Good. Clean. Oh no, it stopped being confused. There's that death that's not very effective. Oh.
die, Stunky. It's Togepi. Togepi has Dragon Pulse. <laughs> Why don't we? <laughs> and then the Quagsire killed itself. <laughs> yeah, you're a real master of the game, Sonic, or whatever the hell mine was called. Shit, Sun Wu Tang's down. Oh, I got a Stunky to fight. Finish the fight. And my rival sent out a Togetic that also knows Dragon Pulse, as if to one up the enemy Togepi. <laughs> Maybe I should uh, only do Gen 5. I'll just. I, I think there's a setting where you can make it so that every single encounter is random every time, as opposed to having random encounters in an area. Oh, uh, okay. Because I haven't done be, that yet. You should do that. That'll be an interesting stream for you. Because that's the last one that we'll be able to randomize. Gen 6 and on are 3DS. I said stop. Your combination is so sick. Both of you and your Pokemon. Let's beat it, partner. You said it, brother. We don't even know what we're doing here. Yeah, give me the egg. Have an egg. What's the egg? So that is a Ryolu egg. A baby Lucario. Oh, okay. Cool. That'll be the steel type I'll use. Wait. Did you not give me the egg? Didn't he? Check your party. Yeah, okay, you got he it. did. Give... He is a friendship evolution, so he's kind of a pain in the ass to evolve, though. He'll, he'll take a little time. Alright. <clears throat> oh, you got a Dusclops. Where's the, uh, the item? Uh, continue. this goes to the exit, and there's the item. Okay. You have one last challenge before you can evolve Tux. A Golbat! Oh, dear. Oh man, speaking of slugs, as he slugs, there was a, a SCP from SCP Foundation. It was tight. The title of it is called A Gentleman, and it's a sea slug that identifies itself as like Lord Lord Theodore Blackburn or something. And it talks in like a British accent, and it's just a sea slug, and it thinks it's like this explorer. And one time, people are like questioning the veracity of statements, like, "Well, isn't it kind of?" Uh, does that creature not exist in Africa? Nonsense! I had tangled with it, and and it almost bested me. You do realize you're a, you're just a sea slug, right? Good heavens, boy! Have you been drinking? Maybe he was near the body of a sea slug while he was fighting Diavolo. <laughs> that makes sense, right? Just doesn't realize it. Shiny stone. Okay, let's uh. Oh, my, my rival is Gorlex, and he healed me. That That's great. I really needed that. Where is Shiny Stone? It's at the bottom. There it is. All right. Dot, 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 dot. Please, I, I want. I'm more interested in what's going on over there. Oh, don't worry about it. You're, you'll get to it. Roserade. It's got. It's got styling hair now. I didn't. Weightlifter Anne returns with a turtle! Turtle, turtle. The 
Bouquet movements of a dancer Pokemon. strikes with whips that are densely lined with poison thorns. Oh, Karama. It's about. Well, you got a third form grass type. Wait. Jackie only weighs 75 pounds. I guess that makes sense. He's like 12 or something. She, but yeah. So that's female form. What about the other form? You don't have the male form. You gotta collect them all. Oh, you've oh, seen have the, the male, male form. form. Yeah. What's... Or you've seen both forms by trainers or something. There is no difference. Uh... I think maybe the tail? Yeah, the tail is longer on the female. It's very there's very subtle the differences a lot of the time. Yeah. Okay, well it's shorter. Except Wobbuffet, which is very blatant. <laughs> Alright, did it gain anything cool? Did you gain anything cool, buddy? No, I didn't learn any new moves, you would have been told. Poison Stats. point. Oh, well, okay. Let us depart. Boing, boing. Sorry. So that was an optional area. Yeah, that entire was entirely area. optional, but I knew you would want the shiny stone. Yeah, because I want to evolve Tux. What is this? So the next place you would be going is the lake, which is the one that is below, between Maylene and Crasher Wake, those two cities. So oh, okay. it's out in the southeast. Shit, I need to get my flyer back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna deposit, uh, I only have like four useful Pokemon now, if I want to keep with this egg hatching business. If you have a if you have a fire type, so keep keep Sun Wukong Kong in your party and it'll hatch faster. Watt is pretty over leveled right now. Yeah, so I'm gonna switch Watt out with uh I admit that you have pushed me to this extreme. Bulbasaur! Oh, it blocked- it blocks Juggernaut! You can't stop Juggernaut! It did. It failed a second time. Juggernaut stumbled, but then he resumed his charge. Oh, uh, I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. Alright. I have- I have my flyer now. The bad guy thinks he's so cool because he just stopped an, an assault by the Incredible Hulk, and they're standing off. But then his vision goes blurry. Alright, where, where did you say it was in between? So that's the lake, the lake that yeah. you're going to. So, uh, I'll access it through, uh, Pastoria. I will become a deity one day. Yolga, the master, master of time. It's impossible to tell if it's enraged or saddened. Appears to be waiting for you, big boss. Big boss? <laughs> so what part of uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 are you uh, on right now? Watching? I finished 5. The only one I haven't oh, finished have? is Revengeance. Okay, so you, so you know the twist, then. That yeah. No, I talked boss. about it earlier. Yeah, I know. Just, Big Boss isn't actually, he's actually the medic. Say peace! Oh, wait. Can I not access it through here? Uh, no, you can go around the beach through the hotel, and it's on the other side. Oh, yeah. This is the god of time? <laughs> Arriba! 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 
<laughs> Gods just want to party. Yeah, it's a it's it's coddle. That's like the the sequel to Farfetched, right? I guess. I mean, it's a it's a not a useless Pokemon. It's three stage evolution. Oh fuck! He one shot a Juggernaut. Where's where's the lake? Again? It's right Which... there and through the trees. Okay. Team Galactic members are here. You can tell because of the, the, the Sly Cooper music. Sun Wukong. We must we must engage. Oh, it's a ghost? It one-shotted my juggernaut and it's immune to my sword of death moltres. Oh no! Poor Magikarp! So here's a question. Do, uh... Do people eat Magikarp in this universe? Are they, like, common, uh... Food? I don't know that it's ever explicitly established. There's, like, an imagination sequence in the anime where they picture eating a Magikarp. And the Magikarp is just crying anime tears. Just, oh, ho, 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 ho. Wait a minute, can I just run? That's a, that seems to be a running joke in older anime, is, like, uh, eating perceived to be sentient fish. That was, like, a, that was a season one Slayer's joke as well. They ate a dude who was previously alive and sentient and talking, but he was a fish. Yeah. It's also something that happened in an episode of Wak Fu. Yeah? Where... Are you talking about the pig thing? Yeah. I'm glad... Well, I'm specifically talking about fish I've seen as a recurring trope in anime. Yeah. Fish. Ah, uh, yes. Fish is something I can have that's healthy well, on my current diet. Yeah. I haven't been exercising a whole lot due to the fucking smoke, so I... With some of the weight I lost, I gained back, but I'm making gains to to uh, lose it. Oh, it's dark. What? It's dark type. I'm gonna try Juggernaut again and hope he hits. Flying versus ground. Ah, uh, Newton normal. Ah, oh, damn it. All right. He's not ground type, though. He's a uh, fire, uh, fighting poison. Oh, he used a ground type move on me. Oh, no, revenge. Oh, come on, Juggernaut, take a hit. I got me. Okay, he survived. What did you say it was dark poison? Uh, poison, poison, poison? fighting. So Psychic oh. would before fuck him up. Alright. The God of Time used a slightly weaker attack in his arsenal. And I survived long enough to, to destroy him. Dragging you back. So you're already done with the game. I'm still fucking. Well, the the team Galactic part. It's the equivalent of finishing the rocket Saffron building in Red Blue. Okay. Yeah, fighting the God of Time is the equivalent of just finishing the fucking. Boy, things really uh ramped up since we took on a mob bosses. All right, where's the Pokemon Center over here? Uh, there isn't one, but you can go in the hotel below you to heal. Yeah, I really underestimated that one dude. You get fucked up by a Galactic member. Yeah. Well, I got my one of my Pokemon got got taken out. I can't fly on top of Spear Pit. Why? It's clearly open air. It's we're on top well, of a mountain. 
the gusts are too too much. My slime is worried that he's gonna get like uh, blown apart. Do I have dig? I don't have dig. Do I have an escape rope? No. I do. Oh, okay. That's good. I don't want to walk down this fucking mountain. Oh. What the fuck are you doing? Just hey, the world's biggest Magikarp fan. Oh, never you mind. <laughs> I had you pegged wrong, lady. I respected you. No, the world's biggest Magikarp fan is that one dude in Gen 3 who had six Magikarps and refused to train anything else. As a result, he keeps losing. So they just destroyed, they attacked and destroyed the lake. Sent out to old bats. Oh, shit. So you're gonna finish the lake, and then you're gonna have to start heading north to snow country. Oh, is that, is that a fact, huh? Yeah. But yeah, I go stop after the lake, I figure, right? Yeah. I fucked up again. Air cutter. Toxic. God damn it. Alright. Oh, I gotta check on the, uh, the Pokemon I caught. Alright, what goodie, what randomized legendary goodies did I get? And Confuse Ray. God damn it. I only got the two. I got Fortress. Overgrow. Powers of grass type moves in a pinch for a fire poison type. <laughs> uh, it's high on special defense. It's its only noteworthy stat. Faint magma storm eruption. Eh, nothing special. 75 accuracy poison gas. Psychic ground deoxys. Holy shit, this is damp. Prevent self-destructing. High attack and defense. So it's a physical physical attacker. What's its moves? Growth. Special attack. Special attack. Amnesia. Special defense. And 30 power bone meringue. God damn. It's a physical attacker and all it can do is whack things with a bone. Maybe you could give it more better... Well, actually, just it being a physical attacker could be useful because I have beat up. Yeah. What's my party's uh, physical? What's my party's physical attack? Uh, not that. Not as good as it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna carry around this space virus. Red Frieza can replace Reggie. Grow, grow a level. Send in crow a gunk. What's strong against shit? I forget. It's poison. Psychic. Oh yeah, myth. It's just gold bat. The gold bats keep fucking me up. Remember when Brock really cared for his Zubat, a character so important, he caught him off screen. Yeah. And then he was like, "Yeah, you're my bro, Zubat." You're my fucking bro! Did that happen in the Mount Moon episode? He just showed up and had a Zubat? Yeah, he's like, and Ash is like, where'd you get a Zubat? He's like, I caught it. They're everywhere, man! How do you not have a Zubat? Yep. 
My controller keeps drifting and making me walk places I don't want to go. This is actually really tough. The, like, enemies? Yeah, the, the, the fucking trainers here are just, like... They always lead with fucking gold bats. And, and I don't really have a, hard, a good hard counter for them. Psychic? Electric? Well, your watt is put away. Yeah, that's why I don't have a like, hard counter for them right now. Psychic is super effective. But I thought they were dark type. No, they're flying poison. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I got Dragon Brush. How awful is that in this new version? 70 power, 5 PP. No thanks! <laughs> was like one of the one of the strongest dragon moves originally. God damn it, confusion. This is this is the all these fucking trainers are so goddamn annoying. You know how like uh, fire is immune to burning, electric is immune to paralysis. Psychic yeah. should really be immune to confusion. Logically, you would think. Like they're too smart for it. Yeah. Listen to me to him suggesting psychic should be more powerful. I mean, it's fine now. Mm -hmm. Gen one, it would have been like icing oh. on the cake. Oh, thank God, an insect! I could take that. I could take out an insect easily. All right, what's in this grass? Oh, it's a hunch crow. Mafia bird. Make you an offer you can't refuse. See, it has mold breaker. Oh, can it hit me through Wonder Guard with that? Oh, it doesn't matter. It knows super effective moves. Dust Ox. That's also an insect, right? Uh, yes. Bug poison. Thank, thank God. This is this is a breather. I'm just fighting insects now. Don't fuck with Mafia Crow. Don't <laughs> I can catch stuff with Juggernaut, just not if it's Ice-type. I like it, I like Honchkrow, but I'm not gonna be able to catch it. Don Fan. I guess a lot of Gen 2 designs are fairly uh, conservative, is why they tend to go forgotten. Yeah, they're... It's like Gen 1 designs, except... It's just like, it's like Gen 1 designs. They're not super, uh, wacky. Yeah, they're... Right, you have to go heal after every fight? Nah, I went a couple fights, uh, without, uh, healing that time. It's just, it, yeah, I, I was just... I thought that, for, for whatever reason, I, I thought you told me earlier that the Golbats and Zubats wouldn't be very... the Psychic wouldn't be very effective against them. Start throwing some Pokeballs. Catch an elephant. Oh, sorry, it's not all fire types. A Pokemon with magma armor or flame body shorten the hatching process. Oh. Rock and fire type. Oh. It's a hothead. Baba. You will be the prince of this land, Babar. Yeah, I was about to say I thought Baba was a sheep. Oh, is this... Is this the main villain? Can I just go just around? Stand in a cave, looking at runes on the ground. Kid, what are you doing? 
splashing in the water with quiet. It's fun. All right. Oh shit! What's he gonna lead with? Probably a, a skunk or a gold bat. <laughs> yeah, that was what was uh, my problem with my uh, with my bell was the skunk. Yeah. I don't have a hard counter against the skunk right now. You have ground type, which is the Lord Slug. Okay. I'll, uh... Hmm. But of course, ground I'll doesn't affect with... Zubat. Yeah. The it's a gamble be... either way. Everything, Everything is for everyone! And for the good of Team Galactic. <gasps> I recognize your face! Yep, I did. Jupiter, Jupiter should be ashamed of herself being beaten by a child. She's a sailor Jeez. scout, damn it! Team Galactic is, are the evil Sailor Scouts. Yeah. That, uh... Maybe they just really liked Sailor Moon, is why they named themselves like this. Rock Blast. Ooh, how good is that? Command... Commander Saturn. Oh, Psychic. 45. Eh. Hey, but you know what? I'm Steel. I'm gonna confuse it. Embargo. You can't use items. Oh. Return. Yeah. Oh shit, that just fucking ate, that just fucking smoked it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Kadabra, the glass baby. What were we talking about? Punching out Gandalf? <laughs> Punching Gandalf in the balls. Oh, Bronzor. It's fire psychic, right? Alright, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, uh. Bronzor is psychic steel. Yeah, psychic steel. Psychic metal. So fire. Firefighting would, would, would fucking. Well, actually, not fighting, just fire. I think there's a chance later on where they have an ability called Heat Proof. So it's like a 50 50 whether they're vulnerable to fire or ground. Aw, oh, damn, it survived. Gyro Ball. That's the move that uh, Bell was waiting for. That Bronze World knows it now. I guess because it's level. it went level 35 without evolving. Oh, you got Haunter. Haunter. I'm gonna cut God. this ghost. I'm gonna cut the ghost. Toxic croak. All right, back to bronze. Back to bro. Back to bronze bell. I guess it always had levitator heat proof, so it is a 50/50. Oh, it survived the cut. Yeah, you weren't paying attention. Extra sensory. Faint attack. Oh yeah, that's a dark type. What is? Uh, faint attack. Yeah. Right? One hit kill. Pokemon with the uh, times four weaknesses kind of get fucked. Yeah. Oh, hey, maybe it is. Maybe I do learn it at level 35. Three, three, two, one, three, one. It's uh, defense and special defense are really good. Yeah. It's like, it's attack, it's regular attack isn't bad either. It's a I good. I am a wall. You, my friend, are tough. I can see why you defy us so. Even I, a commander, only managed to buy us time. That's fine. You'll never be able to stem the flow of time. We'll get the three legendary Pokemon of the lakes. With their power, we will create an entirely new universe. Really ramped up the villain plans since uh, Gen 1. We want to sell Pokemon. We want to create a new universe. 
by now, Mars should have captured the Pokemon of Lake Verity. <laughs> In the name of Mars, I will chastise you. I'm just fighting all the po all the Sailor Scouts. Evil Sailor Scouts. <laughs> Ocelot versus the Sailor Scouts. That's a fan fiction waiting to happen. <laughs> we have the power of justice. What do you have? A gun. I have six bullets, more than enough to kill all five of you and Tuxedo Mask. Let's test your luck, little lass. <laughs> Tosses four guns. Usagi, what is he doing? I don't know, but it's captivating! You got your, uh, you got your flyer? Yeah, I do. Where am I going? So, you're gonna have to go up to Snow Place to check on... Well, actually, no, we have to go to, uh, before that, we have to go to the bottom left lake to see how, uh, Lucas and Ocelot are doing. <laughs> Revolver Ocelot. <laughs> that dude's a fucking legend. He's had, like, so many different characterizations throughout the game series. It's like he first started out as a cocky hotshot kid, kid. Then he became, like, uh, Snake's, one of Snake's, like, best friends. And then, and then what happened after that? Um, you get, you got possessed by someone's hand, or so was claimed. Yeah, he... That turned he, out to be self-hypnosis. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> why, why can't he have just been possessed by, by Liquid Snake's well, hand? That's unrealistic in the world of Metal Gear, you see. <laughs> you should, uh, you should talk to your mom and heal if she can do that. Sanix mom. So, do you wanna... There's like, yeah, there's like some grunts and a leader at the lake. Uh, we'll stop here. I'll, I'll take care of the grunts next right. time. You should, uh, heal and then go to the lake and save your game so you know what you're gonna be doing next time. It's easy yeah. to forget where the fuck you're going in this game. It really has you wandering all over the region at seemingly random. Yeah. Alright, so which way is the lake? Up, uh, up left. Can I fly there? Can you just no. walk? It's, it's very, very close. Clearly. Just a Sunday stroll. Fucking... I am... I am Professor... Ah, Jackie, what timing! <laughs> You're being accosted by Team Galactic members? These team- those Team Galactic scoundrels! <laughs> They're after the legendary Pokémon. Jackie, help us! You gotta help Lucas! Alright, All right, sure. This, this is a good stopping point. We visit the Three Lakes, we go fight Ice Waifu that everyone likes. And we'll, we'll do that next time. Yep. Right. That was fun. Good, That's good Pokemon. Pokemon. So you got that, and then once you go through Ice Mountain Place, then you'll be at, then you do, like, uh, Galactic Base, and you do what I was just doing. With the, the final yeah. story stuff. Fight God! So we still got a few streams of this to go yet. Yep. No uh, we still got Metopia to finish, we got Book of Mario yeah. in the middle of. One of those I gotta start, gotta again. start hat in time at some point. That too. We're in the middle of Tony Hawk. We got stuff yes. to do. Yep, we got a lot. Thanks for watching. We'll see yep. you guys next time. See you next time.